break? No, no he's, I got him. I got him. That's a big fish. That's a big fish, babe. I'm get, gonna get right here and get the net. Yep. No, no. <laughs> Why do you do that? This is gonna be a great day of fishing on Lake Tyler. Stop number five for the look of the draw 2022-2023 season is on Lake Tyler. Lake Tyler is located in White House, Texas, southeast of the town of Tyler. Anglers will be able to fish on Lake Tyler East and Lake Tyler West. Each lake is approximately 2,200 acres. This is our fifth tournament of the season out of eight, and it is a tight Angler of the Year race for our top two teams. Dylan Dowdell and Brandon Cole with 38 points, and tied with them is the father and son team, the Rons, Ron and Ronald Eastman. Here we have Ron at the boat ramp. He's going to tell us about how his practice went. The two strokes don't like the cold, man. <laughs> we got one little set of fish that we're going to try to find. And if they're not there, we're going to be running and gunning all day. <laughs> it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be real slow in the morning. If we if we uh, we catch the fish we want, it's going to be after afternoon. So last couple hours of the tournament. So we'll That's see how it goes. The same road. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. See. Cold. What's going on, man? Yeah. Y'all have y'all catch any fish in practice? Uh, I caught three. There, I mean, they had they had, one was a four pounder, the three pounder, and. I don't know what the other one was, um, but kind of got a pattern. Not, don't know if it'll hold because the wind's supposed to be a totally uh, different direction today. Um, but I think it's supposed to be blowing the same speed. But they're just they're just roaming around, so I don't know what's going to happen. Mr. Curtis, you feeling good this morning? Feeling great. Confident? Mostly. You gonna go catch him? Oh yeah, I gotta show him how to fish. <laughs> All right, well, how'd y'all's practice go? Uh, man, it went really good. We uh, started Wednesday. We actually got to see the fish move uh, after the front. We uh, think we're on the front side of a, of a pattern, new pattern, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I feel real confident about it. We really got something dialed in yesterday. Now it is January. They're, we was talking last night. They move and change every day. So I, I don't think they're very bait-related, so I'm hoping they hold as long as uh, – Water temp hadn't been dropping more than about 30 degrees a night, and it's warming back up throughout the day. Uh, I feel real good about it. He really got something dialed in yeah. yesterday. I got a pretty good bite. Uh, caught a few good fish yesterday. Kind of hate to do it in practice, but hoping that pattern holds, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it should be good for us. Uh, basically, like Dylan said, the weather hasn't been a big issue, but it is January, so yep. see how it goes. Yeah, anything can change, man. A lot of... A lot of local traffic. We seen quite a few boats practicing yesterday. Um, it's kind of we were talking. We seen a lot of people doing the same stuff as we were. We don't know if we're getting lied to, but you know, nobody said they was really catching anything. So either we're getting lied to, or we got something dialed in. We'll, we'll figure it out. But you know how the doc talk goes. So we'll see what happens. Oh yeah. Dylan Dowdle and Bo Reed. Y'all can go. Best of luck, gentlemen. Thank you. Y'all too. Boat number two, Matt Brown. Boat number 19, Nathan McKeska and Billy Richardson. Boat number 25, Shane Martin and Chris Porter. Keep Lincoln. Boat number 33, Jesse Stokes. Good luck, guys. And everybody at home watching, this is going to be a great day of fishing on Lake Tyler. What's up, everybody? This is Jared Cry with Look of the Draw Fishing. I'm here to talk about Omnia Fishing, an online retailer 
that has recently partnered up with our tournament organization. So what they've done for us is they gave us <clears throat> some gift cards to give out to you guys. So the first place that finishes outside of the money in any of our tournaments is gonna to get a $25, both anglers are gonna get a $25 gift card from Omnia. What Omnia is, is like I said, an online retailer, but what makes them unique is they go to anglers like myself, <clears throat> and if you guys wanna be ambassadors, you can as well. And all you have to do is submit a fishing report from your local lake, you can be anywhere in the country. <clears throat> so like yesterday, I went out to my local lake and I was catching them on this Fritz side five. And so all I have to do is go, you know, tell them what lake I was on, what time of year, um, what I was using and what are my recommendations. Maybe if I was catching them on something else as well. <clears throat> and so what that's gonna do when you sign up on Omnia looking for some tackle, you're gonna, they're gonna know what area you fish and they're gonna know what to suggest to you based on, you know, people like me that submit these fishing reports. So I think it's a really cool deal. Um, you know, they have almost anything you want, hard baits, soft, soft plastics, rods, reels, anything. So you guys go check them out. And if you want a discount code, send me your email. If you're a Luck of the Draw member, you've paid your membership fees and I'll get you hooked up with them. Thank you guys. Close to being a lake record. I was like, Need a net? Yep. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. That one surprised me. First fish of the tournament. I'm already doing better than I did yesterday. All day yesterday. Two four oh. Peace. All right, cameraman. We just turned it on. Y'all missed it, but we got two in the boat so far. So, three more to go. an eight pounder that's an eight pounder dude no question that's an eight pounder dude 
Let me see you. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Dude, are you kidding me? What are you doing? Huh? That's an eight pounder. He, that thing don't work. You fixed it? That's an eight pounder, dude. All day an eight pounder. Come on, yeah. baby. Come down here. Not bad though, dude. <laughs> Watch out. Let's go! Changing the game right there with that one, dude. Huh? Yeah. How about a weightless wacky worm in 20 foot of water? I know, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I knew he was big when I pulled up. I was thinking, oh my God. Hey, that changes the game. <laughs> now you got four. We need one more like him, dude. Another one. Damn it, son. Why do you do that? Why do you throw like that, dude? Why you gotta throw your pole? Huh? We're here fishing. We're out here, dude. Do nothing, so what am I gonna do? Hold the pole? Well, you freaking you threw your pole in the ground. You should be excited. I think you're excited. Why? We got we got a six and a half pounds. Quit stressing. Alright, we're gonna leave this net open because that was way too much of a pain now. What? The crane. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna pick them off. That's a big fish. That's a big fish, babe. I'm coming. Get right here and get the net. Okay. Oh my god. I'm in here? Yeah, no, no, no. In here. Hell yeah. Good job. Mm. That's a big fish, right? That's a big fucking fish. Oh, don't fall off the boat. <laughs> I'm holding it in the net. <sighs> You're tall here. Yeah, I know. That's stupid. You have to... You're all the way around. Yeah. All the way around. I can't see my back here. <laughs> Knock my damn rod off in the water. <laughs> Give me that fire something. Cutters. Cutters pliers over there. This little thing wouldn't even be in the water all the way when you hit it. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm looking for. I'm looking for concrete with grass in front of it. Yeah. Yeah, we fished a little bit of concrete, but uh, not a lot. 
We're, uh, we're, 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 what? Concrete. The concrete bulkheads. Right. Sweet. We, uh. Oh, I just caught one. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Dude, that was a nice one. Yeah, it was. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, that's fine. I like to see fish. I like it. What do you think that one weighed? I, I didn't get a good look at it, to be honest with you. It was you. a three, for sure. Up on that red chatter bait yet? Oh, I just took mine off. <laughs> Let's go! You got you got me. Did I? Okay, yeah, I'm, sorry. I'm hooked. <laughs>
Headed back to weigh in, it seems many of the anglers had a similar story. Tough fishing in the morning, and most of their bites came around midday. Tell me about it, Matt. Well, it was a crap morning. But about one o'clock, that's when I started catching a bunch of fish. A lot of shorts. And then it started started being keepers. We got, I got uh, all the grass mats behind us. And what, what was that code called? Club Lake Cove. Yeah, Club, Club, Club Lake Cove. Yep. Sweet, man. Well, good luck. Yeah. Hey, no Yeah. She stood straight up the rest of the day. Yeah. 6.5. 6.4 locked in. 6.5. 6.5. 6.5. Wait, 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 wait. wait. 6.5. 6.5. <laughs> he was filled out, he'd be 8. Yeah. <laughs> so That's skinny. Big yeah. <laughs> Each angler has to turn in their boat number chip by no later than 4 p.m. to be able to weigh in their fish. And in true Dylan Dowdell fashion, he fishes the boat ramp until 3.59 every tournament. No, you don't have to look at me, look at her. I'm just videoing her. Congratulations to Ryan Powell on the win today. His bag weighed 23.8 pounds, and he tied for big bass with Ron Eastman, both weighing in a 6.5 pound big fish. Our angler of the year race is still tight, but the Ron's 14.7 pound bag earned them a three point lead over Dylan and Brandon. We still have three more regular season events ahead of us, and each team will drop their two worst finishes. We'll see you next month at stop number six of the Luck of the Draw 2022-2023 season. To find out which lake we're going to next, watch our February Lake Draw video coming up next. What's up, everybody? So we just had our fifth tournament of the season on Lake Tyler. Um, you know, it was a it was a good turn of events. It was a good tournament. Um, you know, I think everybody caught quite a bit of fish, so that was that's good. Usually, you know, we've been having these really grinds of a tournament, so um, I'm not saying it was the easiest thing in the world, but we definitely had way more fish than uh, than normal. So uh, myself and Colby ended up the day with uh, twelve point four pounds. Ended up like smack dab in the middle of the pack. Um, you know, I just want to congratulate Ryan Powell. He weighed in big, biggest bag of the day. Came in first and uh, with a 23.8 pound bag. So that, that, that was solid. And he tied for, for big bass of uh, 6.5 pounds with Ron Eastman. Um, you know, Ron and his dad have been battling it out with Dylan uh, for Angler of the Year. Dylan Daldell and Brandon Cole for Angler of the Year all year long. And uh, they went into this tournament tied and they came, they came out on top this time. So um, the new Angler of the Year points um, is Ron and his dad with 49 points and Dylan and Brandon with 46 points.
so it's still a close race and myself and Colby are coming in third uh, with a pretty big gap all the way down to 33 points so uh, it's a tight race at the top two I'm excited to see how that plays out you know um, Ron he's a Livingston guy and, uh, and he spends a whole lot of time on Rayburn as well so uh, I think that these next few lakes kind of stack up in his favor but Dylan man he uh, Dylan and Brandon they both they both can kind of fish anywhere. So anyway, we have Sam Rayburn, Lake Houston, and Lake Livingston left to go on the schedule. So uh, we're about to we're about to find out where we're going in February. So um, like I said, we got Lake Houston. Throw that in the bag. We have Lake Livingston. And we have old big Sam Rayburn. So, I'm gonna shake that up a little bit. I think there's kind of mixed emotions on where everybody wants to go. Uh, personally, really think I want to go to Sam Raver. I kind of, kind of like that lake in February. So anyway, Lake Houston. That's it. I've never been here. I've never been to this lake, uh, even though it's literally the closest lake to my house uh, that we have on the schedule. So I guess I'm gonna have to go put some time in out on Lake Houston. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I hope to see everybody there.